English writing skills. Punctuation marks. Lesson 3. The focus of this lesson will be on direct speech. We'll look at how we use punctuation for restating exact words and how we use punctuation with reporting clauses. I'll also show you how we use a comma to set off words or phrases in a sentence. We've had two lessons on punctuation already, and in the last one I said it might be convenient to have a perfect memory. Let's look at this statement. Is the punctuation correct? Well, some of it is. I start with a capital letter. I have a period, so there's final sentence punctuation. I used an apostrophe to form a contraction. I remembered to capitalize this I because that's the first person singular pronoun. And there's a comma and a coordinating conjunction to join my first independent clause with my second. And now there's this part of the statement. If you look back to lesson two, these were the exact words I used in one of my exercises. When we report someone's words exactly as they were said or written, that's direct speech or quoted speech. And to show that it's direct speech, we need quotation marks. Notice how my final sentence punctuation falls inside the quotation marks. Because this is a statement, I need to start with a capital letter. I'm going to show some separation between the direct speech and the rest of the statement. I'm going to use a comma after my reporting clause. The reporting clause has the speaker as my subject and then this reporting verb. Reporting verbs are like say, ask, tell. So we have a reporting clause, comma, and then I have direct speech set inside quotation marks. The reporting clause can come before, in the middle, or after the direct speech. In this lesson, we're going to focus a lot on the punctuation for quoted or direct speech. Remember that reporting clauses will have a subject, which is the speaker, and a reporting verb. The reporting verb could express the speaker's purpose, so for example, ask, request, tell, explain. Or a reporting verb could express the manner in which something was said, for example, shout, whisper. And if the subject is not a pronoun subject, you'll often see inversion, that is, the subject will come after the reporting verb. I just told you that when we use a reporting clause with direct speech, the reporting clause can appear in different positions. In our first example, you saw the reporting clause appear before the direct speech. Now we'll see examples where the reporting clause is in the final position. It is the end of our statement, so we'll need final sentence punctuation. Watch. I used a period. Now we need quotation marks to show which words are being quoted. Wouldn't it be convenient? I asked. Yes, it would. He agreed. It would be fantastic, she said. Notice how final sentence punctuation in the direct speech falls inside the quotation marks. That's the case for the question mark and the exclamation point. This, if it were not direct speech, would just require a period, right? But we can't have two periods. This is the end of my statement. So instead of a period, I need a comma, okay? 
I need a comma inside the quotation marks and then a period at the end of that reporting verb. Look at the difference. Again, wouldn't it be convenient, I ask? Yes, it would, he agreed. It would be fantastic, she said. I'm now going to show you three variations of the same basic statement. I want you to observe small differences. Here's the first. However, with such powers, I reflected, there could be risks. Where's my reporting clause? In the middle. It breaks up the direct speech. So let's go put in our quotation marks. making sure that our final sentence punctuation appears inside the quotation marks. I'll need a comma here, and I'll also need a comma before I continue with the direct speech. The statement is broken up with that reporting clause. I'm going to continue with a lowercase letter because it's not a new statement, it's a continuation of what I began. Again, watch what's happening. Quotation marks for the first part, quotation marks for the second part. A comma inside the quotation marks, a comma before I continue the second part. However, don't forget that comma because I have an introductory word. However, with such powers, I reflected, there could be risks. Now let's look at the second variation. With such powers, however, there could be risks, I reflected. Where's the reporting clause? In a final position. And there's my period. Let's add in quotation marks. We don't need a period, we need a comma inside the quotation marks. I also changed the position of one word. However, instead of using it at the beginning as an introductory word, it now is in the middle, and it kind of breaks the flow of the sentence. Just as we need commas, or generally use commas, to set off introductory words and phrases, we also use commas when words and phrases break the flow of a sentence. However, is one of those words that can appear in different positions, at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of a sentence. We use commas to set it off. With such powers, however, there could be risks. Note there's a comma here and a comma there. With such powers, there could be risks, however, I reflected. The reporting clause is still in a final position, so we have a period. We'll add in our quotation marks. I moved, however, to a final position in the direct speech. I need a comma to set it off, and again I'll need a comma to separate the direct speech from my reporting clause. Now it's your turn to punctuate sentences with direct speech. Remember to use quotation marks. Remember that final sentence punctuation falls inside those quotation marks. If you have a word or a phrase that breaks the flow of a sentence, set it off with commas. Practice. Punctuate the sentences. Note the reporting clauses are in bold. 1. Answer. If you had a perfect memory, suggested a student, you'd never have to take notes again. Look closely at the placement of the commas. Also make sure that the Y in you'd is not capitalized. 2. Answer. Another person commented, with a perfect memory, you'd never forget names or faces.
be sure you have that first comma placed before the quotation marks. The direct speech begins with a capital letter, W. And many writers would choose to place a comma after memory to set off that introductory phrase. 3. Answer. That power, of course, could also be a burden, a young man pointed out. Again, be careful with placement of commas. In terms of direct speech, that final comma falls inside the quotation marks. And many writers would choose to set off the phrase, of course, with commas, because it breaks the flow of the statement. 4. Answer. How so? I inquired. Okay, what we need here is the question mark to indicate it's a question and of course quotation marks. 5. Answer. If you had a perfect memory, he explained, then you'd always remember the things that hurt, so it might be hard to let go of anger and sadness. Carefully check your placement of quotation marks and commas. 6. Answer. How true, I agreed. Even so, I think there are more benefits than drawbacks to having a perfect memory. How true is an expression of agreement, but it's said here with strong emotion. That's why an exclamation point is used. Be sure that that exclamation point falls inside the quotation marks. 's review what we've learned in this lesson by punctuating this last statement. Remember, our teacher began, knowledge comes from experience, that is, through what we see and what we do. Keep up your studies. Do you see the direct speech? Our reporting clause breaks it up. Are we done? Not quite. This expression, that is, means in other words. You'll hear that is or that is to say. It breaks the flow of my sentence, so I'm going to set it off with commas. Let's read the statement once more, now that you see all the correct punctuation marks. Remember, our teacher began. Knowledge comes from experience, that is, through what we see and what we do. Keep up your studies. Thanks for watching and happy studies. Please visit my website today at www.englishwithjennifer.com. You'll find study tips, interactive exercises, including more practice to develop your writing skills, vocabulary videos, and more.